So we just saw you do a pretty amazing performance. Thank you. What literally goes through your head though when you're doing all those things upside down? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> no, you know what? Uh, it's it's really funny. I was just thinking of that a couple hours ago, and I'm so nervous before, and then I get to doing it, and I end up focusing and kind of forgetting. And you'll see me like when I start it, I kind of get into like this blank stare where I'm really focusing, and uh, I think it's kind of necessary for me to do what I do. But absolutely nothing goes on in my brain. It's pretty crazy. How did you get started? in martial arts? Uh, you know what? It's, it was odd. I'd like to say I was coming kicking out of the womb, but uh, uh, it's just one of those passions that I've always had my whole life since I was four years old. And uh, I've been doing it 10 years now and uh, don't ever want to stop. <laughs> very, very impressive. You, and you have a big episode coming up, Kicking It in China. Kicking it in China. What was it like filming that? That was an incredible episode to film. Uh, from the sets to the, the guest stars, the fighting, the comedy, it's, uh, it's an action-packed episode and uh, definitely one of my favorites so far. Obviously you didn't get to go to China, but I saw the episode, so the sure sets are amazing. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I mean, those sets, they literally they, make you... They look really good. Uh, we were on the Great Wall of China for one of the, <laughs> one of the scenes, and there's a pretty uh, daredevil fight scene on the edge of the Great Wall of China, so it's pretty cool. Tell us a little bit about the actual episode. Definitely, Jack gets offered uh, to go to this Junior World Martial Arts uh, Championship Tournament in China. And uh, the, some of the best martial artists in the world are there. And uh, let's say one of the characters finds out that Jack might win it. <laughs> so it goes haywire from there. Awesome. And fortune cookies play a big part in this episode, too. I know. Um, have you ever had a crazy, weird fortune? I think every fortune is weird. I've never gotten a crazy, crazy one, but I've gotten ones that aren't like fortunes. They're like, your hair looks really nice today. Or, and I'm like, oh, thank you. I don't know how that's my fortune, but <laughs> weird ones like that. Someone back there's writing them. Exactly. I, you got to think that someone back there gets bored and they just write something crazy on one of them. I just want to get that one. And obviously you do a lot of stunts on the show. What's your favorite stunt that you've ever done? My favorite action sequence would have to be Definitely the kicking it in China is one of my my big favorites because we're fighting on the edge of the Great Wall of China and that was super cool. Um, but pretty much every episode we got uh, insane stunts, so uh, keep watching and you'll see. And obviously with martial arts, there's risk of injury. Have you ever had a major injury? I've been lucky enough, that was me knocking on wood, to not have a major injury yet, but uh, I've hurt myself, you know, I've sprained knees and you know, gotten some tearing and ligaments, <laughs> you know, but nothing too bad. Everything's healed up, so. And in the first season, what was your favorite episode besides Kicking It in China that you've ever filmed? Actually, it just aired the other night. It's called Dude, Where's My Sword? And it's one of my favorites just because it's so funny. And there's, there's the A story and the B story. The A story is the kids who lose Rudy's priceless katana sword. And uh, the other story is that Rudy, Phil, and uh, Bobby Wasabi go on a martial arts uh, uh, motorcycle riding thing just to get you know their man back and uh, it's so funny it's one of my favorites so far. And last one do you have any message you want to send to your fans? Uh, you know what it's super cliche to say but follow your dreams I mean you never know where it'll take you.